Hello everybody, my name is Katrina and this is my channel, Our Collective Life. Now, this isn't about what I usually write about and talk about, but I wanted to show you how, in theory, an envelope budgeting system works via video because you can try and write it down and of course Dave Ramsey has a great explanation in his on his website and I'll post a link to that but I just wanted to show you how our budget works so I get paid on a fortnightly um, typically the 5th and the 21st of every month and then I also get um, another payment as well for those that don't know I am on benefits at the moment due to my health and my mental health um, hence the reason that I run the blog and the channel so okay so I will explain so I get, I get paid fortnightly and what I typically do is pay all the bills that can be paid online um, so my rent my telephone obviously all that money stays in the bank and I don't have to worry but typically I end up paying it manually and then anything left you know usually just disappears so what we are trying to do is trying to gear it so it's a bit more um, controlled restrained and we can understand so currently I've got six categories I think what I might do is document my journey over the month as I try to um, control our spending. Um, for those who don't know, when I say our, it's kind of the plural meaning because of my mental health condition. Anyway, so, okay. So I'll start with what I believe is the most important thing in the budget. Uh, food. Uh, I have... Um, Tip, normally our budget is £40 a week and I, I think looking at it, it's given us an excuse to spend a lot of food on drugs so we're going to pair it back to £30 a week. I have already spent £10 today on food so that means I have filled our envelope with um, £50. Um, I uh, <laughs> I was quite lucky because the cash machine that I use actually gave me what I withdrawed in £10 notes, which makes things a lot easier. Okay, so that's £50 for the fortnight. Um, and that's going to cover cat food, you know, everything. And hopefully we, we're going to try and spend a lot more money at Aldi, you know, um, I'm not a big fan of some of their stuff, but yeah, anyway. And um, next biggest spend in our budget typically tends to be takeaways, eating out and stuff. Um, it's mainly once a week when I go out with my friend uh, P and also with my other friend Tim. Um, so we have decided this week is five pounds um which should be enough until i next get paid so um uh, therapy um so that stays in that envelope and we keep it where we can't lose it i pay for therapy privately as i pretty much run out of options on the nhs um Sundries and emergencies, basically things we've forgotten about, um, stamps, emergency transport, just things like that. It's amazing how often you don't think about this stuff. We also have transport, but that envelope is empty because we don't actually really need transport. Typically I give my friend a fiver and then... Um, to take me to and from therapy and then um six pounds is for the bus if i pay online but it is just there as an illustrative example uh, clothes and 
And to be honest, I don't even spend that much. But I'm in desperate need of new wardrobe. I do, you know, I go to a lot of charity shops. I raid pretty much all my clothes are from a charity shop. So, yes. So that's it. Um, I hope I've explained it clear enough. I'm a bit nervous about talking on camera for the first time. <laughs> Especially about Melly, because... You know, the first time I tried to do an envelope budgeting, tried to do it with two hands, no tripod, poor lighting, it was shocking. But, you know, obviously, as you can see, we've got better lighting, a better scenery, it's my bedroom. And we've got a webcam, a decent webcam now, on a tripod. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, just understand that what may work for me and my system I suppose may not work for you or your family but it is a good way I think to if you're committed and if everybody's on board to control your spending and I will talk more about you know DID relations to money at a later date anyway thank you bye